Hello guys, this is my very first video in which I will be showing how to create a simple Drupal project. So first we will be clicking and we will be creating a new application. So click on file, new, app, file, new application. So here it will pop up with this window. So we are going to select SOA application because we are going to create a SOA application. Click OK and give. I'll be giving name as SOA demo. So we'll be creating a simple Hello World project. So I'll click Hello World. I'll give the project name as Hello World. So and next. So I'll make. I'll not select the component right now. I will select it later based on which component we want to use. So I'll leave, select the em empty composite and finish. So I see in my projects panel um, that my hello world project is created. So now what I'm going to do is I see that all the artifacts are empty. So nothing is created apart from the composite.xml file. So first we are going to create the schema. So right click over here on schema new and from gallery. So if you go from gallery, click on XML, click on XML schema and click OK. So I am going to create a hello world XSD. So I'll name it hello world XSD. I'll change the target namespace. So because this stores the user defined variable. So I'll give it hello world arc and I'll give the prefix as HW. Okay. So this is, this, uh, this is the XSD that will come up and it just have one example element that will come. So I'll delete this element for now. Uh, it's not required so i'll go to component palettes palette and i could see that i am able to i'll be adding two more elements okay so i'll add the first element as input and this will be the output so i'll give it a name as input and this as output of whatever we will be passing okay and then i will be putting a sequence and adding one more element and its data type where the variable value whatever user is passing will be stored okay so input user input so I'll make user input okay and i will set the type right click on it and set the type as sd string and then i'll be adding second element which will store the result okay, so we'll name it result and right click on it and then you will see set type make it xsd string g select string and that's all and save the xsd that you have created this is all so it's done we'll close the button and we'll go there so xsd is already created where the input and output variables value whatever user is entering will be stored and whatever comes as part of response will be stored so now we'll be creating the um project by using the component so we'll be using the bipple component that is business process execution language so dragging and dropping over here uh, we'll name it hello world process we can give any name we like it should be just process relevant and then the namespace will be same as how it was given in the xsd and this is where the people people file will be stored once it's created then because we are calling a soap service for request and response so we will select the template type as web service and then we'll make it synchronous service name is fine expose as soap service from where we'll be request, uh, receiving the request uh, transaction is required input and output variable if we have not created it will create it for us and this is what it is linking to and but because we have already created our xsd so we are going to click on search and then expand the project schema files hello world input and click ok and then again expand it and select the output variable for the output click ok and our bubble project is created so now what we are going to do whenever we are sending the request it needs to be assigned back to the response variable so we are going to double click on the bubble component and then we are going to add a because it's a synchronous call so we can see a re receive and reply over here if it's not a synchronous call we'll not see these variables asynchronous will also show back it will show callback okay so we will we have now added the sign activity we'll double click on it 
and we'll assign we, what we'll do is we'll map the input variable from where the user is inputting to the output variable where the value has to be stored okay so input to output this the mapping is done from input variable what is whatever we enter to output variable apply and save okay so now we are going to save this project so this is a simple very very simple basic project using a bigger component so i'll just cancel it out so now the project is saved there are a couple of things that we need to remember while uh, creating the project so we have saved the project how do we know that the project is right and there are no mistakes in this project so we do a build of this project so here you see two options it's build and rebuild so we'll click on the first build so that the jpr file gets created in the back end you can go to your j developer directory and check that okay so here it's saying it's making jpr so if we see any build issues it will throw over here okay so it says build is successful if you see right the build file is created and there are no issues with this project right now okay once the build is created so if you want to create a jar and deploy it so there is one method and if you want to deploy this project directly from em console that is the second way so we are going to i am going to show you both the methods so first we'll be deploying it directly from em console so just right click on the project and you can go to deploy option hello world so you should have already started your SOA servers. If you're using integrated one, then it's well and good. They should be started. And if you're using a explicit and you have created an explicit domain, then you should have configured it over here. Okay. So deploy to application server. I'll be selecting and then composite per version, whatever I want to give. So it's a hello world. I already have one project name, hello world. So I'll be deploying a new version. So I'll change the version from 1.0 to 1.1. Or I can leave it to 1.0 zero itself and we'll be just redeploying overwrite if any existing version is present in the console so i have not created a config plan i'll be showing in my next videos how to create a config plan okay so i'll be clicking on next here so i have uh, one domain that i had created it myself and there is one integrated one so i currently have restarted I and mean, i've started the integrated web logic server which already have soa servers in it so i'll be using the integrated web logic server i'll click on next and it shows me what server are there and whether it's supporting it will show the soa server if they are supporting the soa server it will show it over here so this particular default server supports soa server and it is configured as soa server so i'll click this and i'll click next and finish so here on in the bottom you can see there is one build window whenever you are deploying a project again the build will happen and then it will go to the deployment window so now right now it's building if there are any build failures it will throw over here and it will stop the deployment so build is successful and total time taken is 10 seconds and now i will go and check the deployment part so i see that the building profile was successful it, when the building was successful automatically it went and deployed the service so i'm going to go to my so this is the Mm, this is my integrated web logic server so i am going to just refresh the page um so i think it got timed off so that's the reason i have refreshed so i'll be entering my user credentials whatever i had set it to and once it is once i have logged in this yes so our okay so our em is loaded so i'll click on the three bar icon target nav navigation and then i will expand the soa folder and click on soa default server and then it will pop me up with a different page where i can see the deployed composite yeah so it has come up with this page so what i'll do is instead of going in soa folders i'll be directly going to deployed composite and i see that i have hello world with the this version so this if you see today's date is 13th of april 2021 and i have deployed this and it's around 11 51 so it was four minutes back when this three minutes two minutes back when this project was deployed so i'll open this project which i have deployed it has overwritten there was an existing project that has been overwritten and this green icon shows that it is the default version then what i'm going to do is i can see that there's one people component that i have configured and one service and references okay so i'll be going and testing this particular composite contest 
and I see that it's asking me for security policies if I have defined one quality of service HTTP header so we don't have anything for now so I'll just expand the input folder the user input I'll be just passing it hello world and I'll be testing the web service so click on test web service on the top or the bottom right side and it says request successfully received and launch the flow test to see So I'll click on the Bipple component to see what request was sent so I can view the payload. So as part of user input, I see the user input had entered hello world. And as part of output, I could see the result is hello world. So I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe and like. And do let me know if you have any questions regarding this video or if you want me to cover any specific topic. Thank you guys.